Hey beautiful people, I'm Lucy, and if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I make tutorials all about making photo editing super simple. So of course, I'm a huge fan of the new Luminar AI that basically uses AI technology to edit your photos for you, which is just insane, but actually it gives you a lot of creative control and it makes photo editing really, really intelligent. So I recently spoke at their Luminar Live event and then I thought, hey, I should share these tips with you guys as well. So today I'm going to show you how to edit portraits in Luminar AI. Let's get into it. So here we are, I have my portrait photo. And the first thing that I like to do is go over to templates. And these are templates ready to go. And they actually have ones that are suggested for your specific photo. For this one, I'm gonna pick flawless just as my starting point. Next, we're gonna go over to the edit panel and this is where we can really get into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is go over to the essentials tab and I'm gonna start with enhance AI. You can tell the ones that are kind of bolded, that's what the template has already gone ahead and applied to the photo. So with Enhance AI, the first one we have is Accent, and this is a core technology of Luminar AI. So we're really gonna boost that feature up. We can look at the before and the after just with that one feature. That is crazy. Like, that's so awesome. So next we're gonna go to Structure. I really like the structure tool because it's not like clarity that affects your entire photo. Again, when we use structure, it's going to do the shirt, the background, but it's not going to affect her face. Next, we're gonna go over to the vignette feature. The thing that I love that Luminar has here is we can actually go and choose subject and I can click right on her face. So now it knows what is actually the focus of this photo. And then I can go ahead and add that vignette. So there's the before and there's the after. It's a really nice, gentle vignette. All right, so once we're happy with those features, we're gonna head over onto creative. There's lots of different things you can play around with here. I'm gonna go into mystical and just add a little bit to give that kind of glow to the portrait. And then one of the features I love in the creative is the mood feature where we can add basically some pre-made looks to the photo. So you can go along and just take a look at a bunch of them, find one that you like, and then you can add that onto your photo. Again, it's not something that I would use a lot of. I would bring that down the amount, uh, but I do really like that if you just sort of want some inspiration on some color stories and some moods and some feelings for your photo, this is a great way just even to get ideas. All right, so I'm really happy with everything there. Now we're going to go into the portrait specific features, which are so nice. We can go in and add face light. This is like adding a reflected light to your photo. So if you shoot with a lot of natural light, and you don't have reflectors or extra lights that you're working with, this is a great way to just go in and add some extra light to the face and it does it in an intelligent, natural way. So we can go like that and we can look at the before and the after. I'm not gonna add any of that. I'm just gonna increase that a little bit just to get a bit more light on the face and again, check out the before and the after. So it just helps brighten the face up. Next, I'm gonna go into iris flare. Now we're gonna zoom in. I think it's always good to zoom in when you're doing your portraits so you can really focus. The iris flare is one of my favorite tools in Luminar because it just makes the eyes look so good. So you can just see what it's doing there, how it just basically really makes the eyes pop. I'm gonna add in a little bit of eye whitening the eye enhancer adds a bit more sharpening to the eye, so we'll do that as well. Red eye removal we don't really have in this photo. Dark circles we don't really have in this photo, but it works amazingly well. It's always nice to add to your photos. We can look at the before and then the after, and we can kind of see those edits and those changes that we made. So next we're gonna move on to Skin AI. This is again, an awesome feature, and especially if you want to save a lot of time. I love using Skin AI. This is basically skin smoothing and getting rid of blemishes and imperfections and things like that. It does a really awesome job and it saves you a lot of time, so 
we'll just add that in there. So here's the photo without any of the skin AI on. When we turn it on, we can see how powerful it is. And if you don't want it to be as strong, you can just bring down that amount and then find that happy medium where you get that skin smoothing effect, but it still looks really natural. Then what we also have here is the shine removal, basically just helping with hot spots like on her nose and over here. We are a little exposed in the photo and that's just to do with lighting, but you can add that and it's going to just fix that a little bit. Next, we're gonna go over to the professional tab, super contrast. I love this feature because it really helps you save those highlights, save those lowlights. For instance, in the highlights here, we can add a lot more data a lot more um, coming back into those highlights, but it also adds in contrast. So it still gives it a natural look. And then we can do the same thing with the shadows as well. So we're gonna boost the shadows here in the shirt, but keep that contrast in it. So you can really see that this is quite a powerful tool. So if you feel like you wanna do a little bit more edits, you can go back to that essentials tab in the light panel, there's quite a lot of things you could play with. I like to go with the smart contrast and I'm actually gonna bring that down a little bit because you kind of play with contrast but you don't play with the colors. So I'm just gonna bring that down just to give the whole thing a bit of a softer look. You can go into Composition AI and it will give you suggested compositions. I'm really happy with how this is right now, but you can also go over to Perspective and it will like automatically level your photo for you. So that's helpful as well. So once you have all your edits and you're happy with them, I always like to go over to this before and after. So here's our before, before any edits and here's our after, and I'm really liking the way that this is looking, and this was so fast and easy. But sometimes I do have a habit of over editing. When you get in that mode, you just kind of, you know, you go at it, and so you might realize at this point when you're looking at it, you might say, uh, I think I went a little bit too much with the editing, I want it to look a little bit more natural. You can just go down to your template and just bring that down, and it basically will just intelligently tone down all of your edits. It's not gonna affect crop or distortion, but all your other edits, it will affect. So there is the before, there's the after, doing all of those edits, and that is such an amazing transformation. So that's how easy it is to edit really amazing portraits in Luminar AI. If you guys wanna try it out, click the link in the description below and you can pick up Luminar AI and give it a go for yourself. I think that you will really love it. If you have any questions or tutorial requests on Luminar, leave those in the comments down below because I am gonna make some more videos for you guys on this. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already and if you just wanna make me smile, give this video a like and I will see you guys next week. Peace out.